I'm Al Phil Reese. I'm Anna Safford. And this is Mod Po Minute, actually five minutes. We're hoping to scratch the surface of a short poem that we like. So let's get started. I'm here with Sophia. Hi, Sophia. Hi. We were talking about a poem by Laureen Niedeker. And it doesn't have a title. It's referred to by its first line, which I can hardly say, Popcorn Can Cover. Would you read it, and then we'll talk about it? Yeah, sure. Okay. Popcorn can cover screwed to the wall over a hole so the cold can't mouse in. What's the scene? I mean, it's so short, a poem, so brief, that you almost feel like, you shouldn't tell a story about it, but we can't help ourselves. So mm -hmm. what's the scene? I mean, it's kind of like such a concrete image that you, I feel like you kind of are asked to produce like the surrounding images. Yeah. Um, especially like with the indentation, I feel like it's literally been moved by whatever. The fourth line is indented. Yeah. So the cold. It. So I'm, I'm picturing like a small house kind of in disarray with a hole that needs to be covered because it, they can't afford to like fix it properly. So you're there's there's you know strong evidence that this is a poem about economic privation or precarity, mm -hmm. right? Well, let's make a list of some of the forms of evidence that we have to make that statement. I think that's right. What's one? I mean, most obviously that the popcorn can cover is being used, or pop like. I wrote on this piece of paper that the can kind of has a dual purpose, or I see a dual purpose for it the word can. It once covered the, the popcorn in the can, and mm -hmm. now it covers what? Or it can cover the, like... <laughs> it can cover the popcorn <laughs> the can, or as you would say, can. Yeah. Wherever that, whatever that accent is, Florida or I, something. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Popcorn can cover. In other words, the speaker, or someone is seeing, presumably this is the resident, but mm -hmm. someone is seeing that people have to, it's doing double duty. It's the can, we had popcorn, but now it goes to the wall mm. to do what? To cover up a hole that I perceived like that was letting in cold air or something like that, but yeah, also so. a mouse indicates like also some foreign body trying to enter the house, I'm guessing. I mean, so mice mouse want is, to escape the cold too, right? So. But the mouse is a, is a verb. Yeah. So it's probably a metaphor yeah. at first, but you're saying... For has, something incringing. Yeah. Right. Anything incringing can mouse in, but yeah. of course it has this strong suggestion that yeah. the mouse, the mice are actually going to come through the hole. So it's not about only about cold, but about rodents, mm -hmm. vermin. Yeah. So the scene... Which is an expensive problem. Both of them, the, you know, freezing because yeah. you can't pay for the heat or because the stove is inadequate and... So, is there a relationship between the intense condensation and brevity of this thing and the privation, precarity, poverty that's being talked about? Um, okay. I kind of feel like there's almost a, I don't want to say comic, but like blasé attitude when it comes to like a condensed poem like this about a like an actual on real our part, prop. Blase yeah, on our part. yeah, like or a narrator who is phased by a problem like this mm -hmm. wouldn't use this sparse of a language because it would be a big deal to them. Wow. But a narrator like acclimated to like not having small luxuries like a wall that functions would just be able to say, "I need to to use a popcorn can cover," and that that could be poetic. Yeah is it requires someone who lives with this kind of poverty to be that, I don't know, if efficient? I mean, what's so great about this poem is that Laurie Niedeker has this experience or knows this experience mm -hmm. and also has the wherewithal to make it into a poem. I mean, you might as well reuse everything. And, yeah, the this experience, like, requires efficiency in real life as well. So I feel like the poem has to reflect that. That's really smart. So the poem is super efficient because it's recycling, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> right? I mean, yeah. it's recycling the popcorn can cover. Mm -hmm. It's also recycling the scene of needing to do that in the, into this extraordinary poem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What else do you want to say about this poem? you have a final thought? Um, and not particularly. How I've, about all those O's? Oh, I just, 
I just liked that. <laughs> yeah, I know <laughs> you like it, but good. what? Yeah. I mean, the O is the whole, right? Yeah. 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 Of all the vowels that could create wholeness, mm-hmm. it's and that. like I found it interesting that mouse was kind of trapped between words that don't have the O's, like the can't palm and is in. a mouse trap. Yeah. <laughs> Sophia, thank you. This was great. Yeah. Thanks. If you liked this episode, watch another and subscribe. And join us for ModPo, a free and open course at modpo.org.